right now we're headed out to uh, to the farm, which was my grandparents, uh, that we're going to try to buy back one day. Um, we will reach my goal one way or another. Uh, all we have to do is work hard to achieve that. To give a little background on myself, uh, I was a farmer before I started doing snuff cup and I was also a lineman. I worked on power lines here in Oregon County and I farmed here in Oregon County. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on some of the financial side of snuff cup. Uh, the money that's been uh, generated, the, the actual revenue. To start off, uh, sorry I don't have this memorized by heart, but we launched the product on Amazon with TikTok in March of 21. In September of 2021, we started doing custom designs. It's currently September of 2022, making us officially in business on our product launch for one and a half years. In the one and a half years, we've done a total of $565,122 of revenue. I just wanted to take it back a step and show you, this was the very first prototype I ever came out with and we used a 3D printer to make it. Since then, I took all of your guys' feedback. We developed a product called Snuff Cut Pro, and we're in three, three weeks of release, uh, pushing to wholesale it now um, on that wholesale side of it. And if you come with me, uh, I can show you kind of what we've been working on. Before I started Snuff Cup, I was a, I was a small scale cattle farmer. Me and my wife had 130 acres. We had seven cows and uh, after we had purchased, fed, raised, had calves and sold them at market, uh, the total hourly rate, the hourly wages I made was like $6.19 an hour. I know, big money, right? So just to update you guys, uh, this concrete pad is going to be the future Snuff Cup warehouse. It's a 40 by 60 pad. Here in the near future, uh, of course, we'll have the tin and the red iron going up. Um, I don't have an exact update on that yet, but what this will serve, which it's been paid for through social media money, uh, what it will serve is creating the film designs that go on the Snuff Cups. It'll also have a content room in it we'll be able to do storage and we'll be able to ship all of our orders out of this building. Uh, you can see here we have the plumbing done um, and we have it all prepped and ready to go for the tin and red iron. TikTok, we've accumulated 318,000 followers. On Facebook, we've got up to 70,000 now. And Instagram, we have a little over 6,000, uh, bringing that total up to over 380,000 people uh, that are following us along the journey. By the way guys, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so this is the part where I say, can you please subscribe to my channel? Fortunately, here in Alton, we have some really good neighbors. Uh, we invested in the equipment to reduce the cost of making the films. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. We bought the, uh, the printer to do all the manufacturing, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This right here is the whopping piece of machinery that we'll use to make all the films. And uh, right here is going to be the actual film and just some of the supplies that you need and materials that you actually need to be able to do this stuff. Developing a sweet product that sells for itself. My goal is to try to buy this place behind me, uh, try, try to buy it back one day. Wish me luck. Uh, if anything, follow me, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for what comes next.